Um, you know, FDA has always been a very big supporter of the, these conferences, and uh, they really made a big difference. I'm attending the ISB Assembly Conference since more than 20 years. I've attended this conference since the beginning. Probably every year for the last eight or nine years. Probably been to virtually everyone. If you talk about the Aseptic Conference, we have to talk about Jack Lisford. On May 1st, 1995, Jack Lisford organized a meeting with then FDA Director Terry Munson and led upwards of 50 ISPE engineers to visit FDA and make the case for filling machines inside isolators. How did it go? Well, it's history now. FDA have defined isolators and RABs as advanced aseptic technology, which they now encourage and expect success. I think uh, that ISPE's work was the single most important thing in the evolution from the old legacy aseptic processing operations to isolator technology and other barrier technologies. I've been going to the aseptic conference for, I think, somewhere around 15 years. And at the time, it was called the Barrier Isolation Conference. So we're, this year is our 30th year, and, and it, it has changed. What we're talking, our topics and our focus has changed. And I've benefited over the years to see how the progress, the progress of the technology is moving forward in the end. My favorite memory was our first track we offered about containment for highly potent sterile products. We were not sure at that time if this will be accepted, if we will have attendance, if the topic would be of interest. But as we had the track, the room was so packed with people, I still have very good memories. Certainly the regulatory panel discussions with Jack Lisford kind of chairing the discussions is so knowledgeable. The most special session to me is the one and we do it every year where we have regulatory uh, inspectors and regulatory leadership up on stage and they take questions from the audience and that part of the conference every year teaches so much. I think my favorite memory was the time when I just had my son so I brought him and my husband to the conference and then in the breaks, I went out and to, to feed him. And uh, he was the youngest attendant at the uh, reception in the evening. And if I think back a number of years ago, when we were talking about just bringing isolator technology to the market and, and to the industry and the challenges there, and now we see how that is a very accepted practice and the future is moving towards you know, small volume advanced therapy medicines or even the introduction to robotics and on a yearly basis you're getting that snapshot you're really getting to see the progression of the industry at this conference although we may be competitors in the business world or we may be competitors in the pharmaceutical world everybody sits around the same tables and there's a lot of sharing that goes back and forth more than many of the other conferences that i see it's really encouraging to me that with isolator technology now being accepted so well and supported by the FDA, that it's the right thing to do when we're doing sterile injectables. The conference has been shaping the industry for 30 years now, and it continues to do so. I uh, celebrate this 30 year anniversary. It uh, had a, a tremendous uh, influence on me and given me uh, a home, so to speak, in the engineering world. I appreciate it. I'm glad to be part of ISPE, glad to be part of this uh, aseptic conference for its 30 years. Happy celebration, everybody.